Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Joe Pfeiffer versus Mark Andre Barriut. Joe Pfeiffer, 12 wins, 3 losses, 4 and 1 in his last 5 fights, minus 265 favorite, 6 2 to 75 inch reach, fighting Mark Andre Barriut, 16 and 7, plus 210 underdog, 6 1 with a 74 inch reach, 1 inch in height, 1 inch in reach for Joe Pfeiffer. The issue I have with this matchup is the striker that Pfeiffer is when he loads up for his big, big hooks, big strikes. Is Mark Andre Barry has only been finished one time, and that's by uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. He has been submitted, which they're you know uh, Fluffy was able to submit him. That was his only submission loss, or he's only been finished twice in the UFC, and that was one of them. Lost a split decision against Chris Curtis. He really just didn't fight in that matchup. Had two wins in a row before that. You know Joe Pfeiffer losing to Jack Hermanson is not really. It's nothing to really hold your head down on. Two to one seems crazy as a favorite for Joe Pfeiffer, who's coming off of a loss. I get it was Jack Hermanson, which also did beat Chris Curtis. But this type of matchup, the only way Pfeiffer wins this is by finish. Barry Utes only been finished twice in this. One of them against Fluffy, who would, would do work against Pfeiffer. And Chris Curtis would have, in, uh, in uh, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang would be a great matchup with Joe Pfeiffer. Um I actually got to go with the underdog. I think Mark Andre Barry gets the job done. I think he's able to grind on him a little bit, make it ugly, and get stronger as the fight goes. That first round's going to be tough, but I like Mark Andre Barry I know people aren't going to like that. Sorry. As always, subscribe, like, comment.